It's about to get weird. What's up my little English muffins and welcome to JMAX Amateur Kitchen. Today we're making Filipino pizza. Pizza, Filipino, oh. And you know what? We're gonna make a little easy pizza dough from scratch. No mixer required. Let's do this. Recipe in the description below. Come on, let's get our pizza dough rocking. All right, we got a cup of warm water from the sink. Should be about 110 degrees Fahrenheit. To that, we're gonna add a teaspoon and a quarter of active dry yeast. Then we're gonna feed the yeast with two tablespoons of sugar. We're gonna mix that up and let it sit for 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes, you get this foam on top. Yeah, you put a little smiley face in there. All right, we got a mixing bowl. We got some all-purpose flour. We need three cups into that bowl. All right, cup one of flour. Come here, little English muffin, check this out. Nana taught me this. Scrape the excess off with a fork. Look at that, now that is a cup of flour. Into the bowl with two more. Let's make a little well in our flour here. And let's put in our water yeast sugar. And two tablespoons of olive oil. And let's start mixing that. Look at this, no mixer required. Come on, did you guys seriously forget to remind me to put in half a teaspoon of salt? Oh, all right, this is actually starting to look like dough. Let's get in there with the hands. All right, that's enough of that. Throw some flour down on your counter. Dough. Boom. A little bit of flour on top. And let's start kneading it. Down, full back twist. Down, full back twist. Down, full back twist. We're gonna do this for like 10 minutes. And if you don't have a countertop. Flour. Stop fooling around. All right, it's been 10 minutes. Just form a quick dough ball. Tuck in those sides. Throw some flour in a bowl. Throw in our dough ball. Sprinkle a little flour on top. And we're gonna put a towel over that. And we're just gonna keep this out here and let it rise in a warm place for about an hour. Meanwhile, let's make some Laganisa. Some Filipino breakfast sausage for the topping. You guys excited? Let's go. <sighs> Laganisa requires an entire head of garlic. Let me show you a trick for peeling this. Step one, smash with your hand. Step two, put it in a bowl. Step three, bigger bowl on top. Shake for about 30 seconds. And check that out. All peeled. And now we just pick those guys out. And you got a pile of garlic. In a bowl, we got a pound of ground pork. To that, we're gonna mince in all of our garlic. And we're gonna do a tablespoon of soy sauce, a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, and I realize I don't have brown sugar, so we're gonna do a tablespoon of maple syrup. A tablespoon of paprika, a teaspoon of salt, and a tablespoon of black cracked pepper. Let's just get in there. And our is ready to go. All right, last step before we start putting the pizza together, Filipino pizza sauce. Boom! We're using Filipino spaghetti sauce. I'll throw a link in the description below. All right, we got a cup of our Filipino spaghetti sauce going in. And to that, we're gonna add a heaping tablespoon of tomato paste to thicken it up. And we're just gonna cook that on medium-low heat for five minutes. All right, and check it out. Our pizza dough has risen. Look at that. All right, so let's get it going. Throw a little olive oil down. And let's start stretching out our dough. Oh, we'll just get our knuckles in there and just kind of spread it out. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, great. Throw it on the pan and shape it on here. Or just spread it out to the edges. All right, we're drizzle some olive oil around the edges. Give that outer crust some color. All right, let's lay down some of our Filipino pizza sauce. And to mimic the Filipino spaghetti that we did, cheddar cheese on top. Let's just top that off with pieces of our Laganisa. All right, and we are gonna put that into a preheated 400 degree oven. We're gonna let that cook for about 20 minutes. All right. All right, it's been about 17 minutes. I was a little off. Check that out. Let's put it up here and let this sit for a minute. All right, minute's up, let's transfer this. Cutting board, boom. Let's cut this in half. 
cross section. Let's take this, put it back over on the pan. Let's cut this guy up. And here we got some Filipino pizza. Oh, all right, let's try this. A little bit of red crushed pepper. You got Filipino pizza. Oh my God. Mm. Oh, let me get one more. Filipino sauce, little sweet, little funky, but like in a good way. It's got a nice little tang, laganisa, garlic punch with a little bit of sweet as well. And you cannot beat homemade pizza dough. Mm. Filipino pizza. Filipino pizza. Filipino pizza. Filipino pizza. Mmm.